Good morning, everyone. I am here just trying to get you up to speed with our lessons since we're doing distance learning. The topic that we will be working on today is simplifying square roots. And you have these four problems in Khan Academy that will be assigned to you as homework. So let's get started with our mini lesson on simplifying square roots. Okay, so in your notebook, I want you to go ahead and write the multiplication of these values while I finish setting up my screen. Okay, so these values, you, what you're doing is multiplying the same number to itself two times. So one times one is one, two times two is four. And these are the values that you should remember from learning your multiplication table from like third and fourth grade. Okay, so now let's take a look at even farther, um, finding the perfect squares of 11 all the way to 20. Okay, so these are a little bit more difficult because you use you have used them less, but at the very least, you should know your perfect squares up to 13 times 13, which is 169. That will help you in your classes in geometry, algebra one and algebra two in the future. Okay, so we have learned about our perfect squares. Now what happens when we want to figure out the inverse operation of squaring a number? Well, we're going to learn about finding the square root of a number. So the question is, what, time, what number times itself two times gave you 64? Well, we know 8 times 8 is 64. So if we take the square root of 64, that will be equal to 8. And we use this little symbol. It almost looks like a division sign, but it has a diagonal. Okay, that is asking me for the square root. Another way to write the square root of a number is raising the number, the radicand, this value in here is called a radicand, raising that radicand to a power of one half. Okay, so, so far we have learned that this is called the radical sign, the number or the value that goes inside of the radical sign is called the radicand. So what happens when the number is not a perfect square? Well, in that case, you will need to find your factors. So think of the factors of 12. Okay, so our factors of 12 are one times 12, two times six and three times four. One and 12, two and six, those are not perfect squares, but we do know that four is a perfect square. So we will write this as the square root of 12 is equal to the square root of four times the square root of three. Well, the square root of four is just two. So now we have two times the square root of three and we just write it as two square root of three. 